Good morning, everyone. The inspector back with you Saturday morning about 8.35. I'm going out to uh, visit my mother-in-law later on, so got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, been a busy week. Uh, things happen, both good and maybe not so good, but uh, on, on the average, pretty good. All right, so we're going to go over what we're going to do today. Um, first, the soap. We're going to go with Jordan's soap, vegan soap, Summer Ale. This is part of their Suds of the Month Club. And yeah, it, smell, it smells like a summer ale. It really does. Um, I'm really pleased of the quality of the soap um, being a, a new artisan. Um, I've consulted with Jordan uh, Desjardins at Jordan's and... The owner, of course, and my feedback initially was to kick up the scent. Um, on the last one he, he did, and I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be the same. So uh, kudos to him for, you know, listening, switching gears. And I think that's what you guys want, right? Uh, on the whole. Okay. Hayless Inspector's Den branded bowl with the soap inside. My huge knot shaving factory look at look at the size of this thing the biggest knot i have like display and all that it's it's really great i think i had that soaking three quarters of the way up do not totally submerge your natural hair brushes because you don't want to uh degrade the glue um you know in the knot so um that's my piece of advice of that now, uh, we're going to go to the razor, okay, Bruno from Superior Cuts. I've had, this is the second, actually the third, I had his first iteration um, of the 3D printed. The second one is supposed to be improved. Um, I got the second one, I haven't even used it yet, and guess what? I drop it, it breaks at the thread of uh, the top plate. I thought it was, I said, this is I had, uh, my fault totally. Guys, if you're going to do do it over a towel when you put on your base plate and in, insert the plate. Okay, so I was like, wow. I called up my friend John Venturino in Henderson, Nevada. And he says, listen, I know this guy. Let me tell you, let me get with him. Tell him what happened. Maybe he can do something for you. He did. Bruno responded in a big way. Didn't expect it. Uh, I told him, you know, that it, it broke at the thread. So what he did was he gave me a new handle and the new top cap, which has the thread inside. It's connected. I have a, uh, a Rex blade in here, third use Rex Platinum, by the way. Not only that, he gave me, he sent me uh, three new base plates and I have the less aggressive closed comb. But so he said, well, let me give you the other set, the aggressive one. So this is a 1.0 uh, blade gap, which we're gonna go with. The one is um, a 1.2 and the other one's a 1.4. One um, you know, it sits in the, in the stand here like that. Perfect, um, well, well thought out. Kudos, thank you very much. Bruno, on top of that, he sent me a couple of other things. And I didn't know he had this uh, since the last time. So, a blade bank, all right? Superior cuts there, spot to put your used blades. And here, uh, yeah, I'm guessing this is where you put your, your packs or your individual blades. This pops out, okay? right like that and so it has department so your used blades you can empty it to dispose of it further or whatever um nice nicely done okay um good for travel all right excellent also <laughs> he got me a brush stand and a razor stand now these are you you put this on a wall i think i'm gonna put this on my mirror uh, has a backing. Make sure it's dry and clean, whatever you put this on, mounted on. One point, 
is a good point that he made that a lot of guys who reviewed this before, they were putting it on backwards, okay? Um, they were doing it this way with the, the uh, hole here. What you wanna do is flip it up and mount it like this so the superior cuts that brand here is showing right in the middle. All right, that's, so it holds one, two, three, five razors, excellent. Three brush stand the same way, not like this, guys. You wanna do superior cuts here facing like this. So it'll, it'll look this way straight on. That's what you want, okay? Thank you very much, Bruno. He didn't have to do any of this, but he did. Hey, listen, profiles and customer service, there's a prime example, okay? So, um, guys, just go with the guys who are gonna treat you right, you know, and do the right thing, you know? Bruno's one of them. Uh, mostly every other artisan that I've dealt with does that. You know, I wanna say the people who had dealings with Jason at the Razor Company, um, Rod and Mandy uh, Levin at uh, Sterling, um, you know, all the way down the line, the artisans that I do business with, Peter Sharkalis. Um, when you order as much stuff as I've done over the last 10 years, you're going to have things that come up and, you know, they've answered the bell at every, every opportunity they had. So kudos to you artisans and suppliers out there for, for doing what you do. It doesn't go unnoticed. And I'm here to put the word out. You know, guys, I'm going to tell you what I think is good. I'm also going to tell you what's not so good. Not only that, how to improve what's not so good to make it good. Okay. So we're going to put these aside. And I hear you. You guys are going to say, okay, inspector, get, get on with the shave. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I've did my head, washed my face out. Yeah, we're gonna wet the face. We're gonna get it rehydrated a little bit, do the lather, talk about our products and what's going on here. All right. And uh, I'm coming up on 700 subscribers, so I appreciate you guys tuning in, commenting. New guys, if you like what you see, there's a lot of videos out there, 300 something that I've done over the last, uh, over four years, check them out. All right, we'll take our shaving factory bore brush, huge, and we'll we'll agitate. And uh, yeah, it's cost like twelve and change, but my God, <laughs> this is a lather beast, guys. Wood handle, um, you know, make sure you dry it and care for it really well. Uh, rinse it out, you know, whatever. All right, so we're gonna work this in, get most of this up off the bowl into the brush, and we're doing good here. See that, most of it's there. So we're gonna slowly add some water and uh, start applying to the face. Yeah, I will do some straight razor, uh, some shave at shaves, guys, I keep saying that, but you know, things just pop up. Stuff I wanna get to, there's plenty. There's no shortage of new stuff and materials, so. All right, here we go. Let's apply. And this is going on the splay and the feel of this brush. Hardly any, I only use this a couple times, but you know, talk about feeling nice and soft. It's just uh, awesome. So we're gonna, we first paint, and now we're gonna work it into, it. this is my tough areas. Nice scent. Smells like a great summer ale. Sorry that summer is uh, coming to a close, but uh, anyhow, great coverage on this soap. Look at that, it's what you want. I can go like this all day here. All right. Rinse the hands, dry them. Going to wet our Rex blade in our superior cuts. This is the um, dual comb. 
you got uh, a scalloped anopa comb, yeah, side, and a scalloped or closed comb side, yeah. And this is, can't really see that well, but let's see what, what happens when we take it to the face. One important thing with these razors, guys, especially, take care when you're threading, okay? Extra care, go slow, do not over tighten. Um, just until snug, you'll hear it click a couple of times and you're good. Um, if you over tighten, especially being this uh, 3D printed, it's gonna, you're gonna damage for sure. So take extra care of this when you're threading it, non threading it, just handling it in general. Hopefully you won't drop it like I did. Okay, let's see what goes here. 1.0 blade gap on this. I go with the least aggressive to start out. Huh, very nice, very nice. This is the open comb side, and I gotta tell you guys, it's, <laughs> it's very smooth. I wasn't expecting it to be that smooth. Sometimes when you get uh, 3D printed razors or whatever, uh, it tends to be a little harsh on the skin maybe, but I am not feeling it with this. Can I tell right away? Yeah, pretty much guys, because from experience, people say, how can you tell by the first couple of strokes, whatever. I get a pretty good feel for that. And you guys know what I'm talking about. The guys that, you know, have Boku razors like I do, and you understand that. Um, I say that for uh, the newer people who are doing into this hobby, all right? And we'll turn it around and just cruising right along. Light pressure, just very light. Just because it's light, don't feel like you have to press because you're not doing yourself a service. Okay, you're gonna get irritated and it's just not, not worth it. All right, I'm gonna go here. We're gonna use the open comb here. And you hear the feedback. I've got, uh, what, two, three, to two days growth, I think? Yeah, so. That's the open comb. I'll go to the um, the closed or scalloped. Got a little bit of a weeper going there. Believe it or not. Right now, to me, unusual. I'm feeling that open comb just a tad smoother. They're not much more aggressive at all. Than the other side. All right, so slickness is really good so far on this soap. All right. Impressed with these Rex Platinum blades. I bought 50 of them. This is still my first one. This is Shave 3. Maybe I'll go four and see how it does. I'm finding this, I believe to me, my opinion only, this is, uh, the edge is holding really well on this so far. A little bit more so than other blades that I've tried. 
I don't know if you guys who have this feel the same. I don't know if it's just me or what, but feel free to comment what your experience is with these new Rex blades from uh, Razor Emporium, Matt Vesarsic. Does a great job. Matt's, uh, well, he's an old pro at this. Um, great products, really good service. He's the guy to go to about vintage razors, which I have a good amount of. I'm getting a few more in, oddly enough, <laughs> like I don't have enough. Um, but I will share with you guys my experiences like I do, my buying, is everything, everything involved with the hobby um, you're going to know about. All right, so we're going to rinse that off super A nice little rinse here, all right? And we're gonna go back in with this brush and it's just the, the coverage, look at that guys on the face. It's really, seriously, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm serious. Um, I like at this point sort of unique stuff and this is unique because it's so big, <laughs> the knot on here and the coverage on the face it, and it feels great. Not even broken in yet. This is like the th third time maybe I'm using this thing. But it feels great. All right. I'm gonna wanna add a little bit of water to that. You can. A little rehydration, a tiny, just a tiny couple of drops here. Second pass is gonna be a tiny bit thinner than the first but uh, the soap is holding up on the face really well. Gotta say, I'm not sensing any dissipation. A little bit of soap in the nose there, sorry. Oh, God. I'm really sloppy with this lather. All right, against the grain here. This is the uh, closed comb, scalloped comb, I guess closed comb. I can't really say, yeah, it's a closed comb. Check them out, Superior Cuts from Croatia. Um, he sends it, it gets to the East Coast here on the New Jersey. You're looking at a, over a week. Um, I don't think you can ask for anything better than that, seriously. So, we're gonna turn it over. Open comb here. Yeah. I'm liking this open comb. I didn't think I'd like it as much as I'm liking it now. All right, so. You can hear the feedback going, right? Nice. All right. Rinse that off. And I got it. Against the grain we go here. Once again, Bruno, I appreciate, and I do this, uh, you know, I like showing you guys stuff just to, not that you have to buy everything, that's not the point here. Like, unlike me, <laughs> um, or like me, I should say. But just to let you know what's out there, so you have, you know, avenues if you if you like it or want to try it. So um, also, if you guys are not a part of it, I'm, most of you are at this point. If you're hobbyist um, on the BSTs, buy sell trade forms. Keep an eye out for stuff that, you know, you can get a lot of good deals. Usually, as far as razors go, my experience has been, um, guys usually don't use them a whole hell of a lot on the whole, but you know, like under five times, you, you can save a good, you know, 30, 40%, sometimes half of what a new one costs. 
So that's up to you. I'm not going to, I'm just showing you, telling you what I've experienced. I've been a part of the buy, sell, and trade, the BST. Um, but one of them for over 10 years now. So, and you can get really good deal on soaps and aftershaves. So, um, and if you're looking to do that, you want to keep a keen eye on it because some of you guys said, oh, I missed it. I didn't catch your post or, you know, so a lot of it's being Johnny on the spot on these things. Well, I'm just doing a buff. Nice. You just want to go slow here. I got a little nick here, I think. My fault because I'm rushing. Don't do that. I'm going to put more lather on too. That would help, wouldn't it? Although this, this has really good slickness. This soap will put a little styptic, styptic on there later. Go against the grain here just lightly on the bottom here because get out this pesky little hair is going on side see I'm getting the open comb I'm getting the lather channel going on here all right nice yeah I think I actually prefer the open comb You can get either or, closed, combination, whatever. Gives you a lot of options on the site. So I'll try to leave a link in the description if you're interested in Superior Cuts razors. I'm still baffled about how this whole 3D printing system, um, it just, I can't wrap my head around how it works. But anyhow, great, we'll rinse off. And uh, especially the ear here, I've got a lot of uh, lather inside. Oh. Okay, so. We'll take it to the towel here and as promised we'll get out the styptic pencil my jumbo clubman pinot will wet it and yeah it'll sting but work that in I like to work it in here All right, more than most, I guess. We'll rinse it off, we'll dry it with a towel and then let it air dry before we cap it uh, for at least a couple of hours. All right, um, before we rinse off again and do our post shave, yeah, uh, Jordan's. Summer Rail, excellent soap, like the scent, uh, Suds of the Month Club, thank you Jordan, Desjardins, um, in Canada, 
Ontario province of. We'll go with, uh, yeah, the uh, shaving factory, huge uh, wooden handled bore brush. Um, Superior Cuts, Bruno, Croatia, 3D printed. We want the 1.0. He's got the 0.2 and the 4 here. I'm a little bit more aggressive. We'll try that at a different time, but um, thank you for great customer service. Bruno, once again, I don't think you guys will be disappointed with what he does, okay? Um, we're gonna rinse this off here. Rinse off the alum with a stick thick. I like using the uh, stick thick. It's more concentrated than the alum. So, primarily, guys, I use alum for gripping the razor <laughs> as opposed to on my face. That's just uh, for me, otherwise, it tends to dry out my face. The stick thick will too, but it's really targeted. Okay, that's the main difference. Okay, cucumber. There's and nice when I not do some on the head as well. I'm getting some tingling going on, which means I got a really close shave. Um, if there's anything that you need to pay attention to on your post shave, uh, do the theirs, okay? The other stuff is a bonus, but theirs will do you well, your skin, everything. I think everyone, most people in the shaving community will will agree to that. Um, when I get off camera, get dressed, we're gonna go with one of my favorite all-time scents. It's gotta be Piacenza by Sterling. Um, get good, com great compliments on this stuff. Usually don't, but with this, this scent, yeah, Aqua de Parma inspired um last year good two to four hours uh they come in this and the mental version is very good too on um, a hot day whatever you want okay guys hey that's it for me we're about almost 28 minutes thanks for joining me really nice shave great products again we'll be back in another couple of days to do another shave with new products and, uh, you know, maybe a surprise here and there down the line. Okay, guys? Hey, enjoy the rest of your Saturday, Sunday. And we'll see you again in a few days. Inspector out, guys.